Just tell me when. Good evening from Fern Creek High School. A big district game tonight. The Mayo Bulldogs come at 6 and 1. Fern Creek Tigers 5 and 2. Joe Cox and Mike Shelton with you here on Glycod. And Mike, this is the kind of game where Mayo really has a chance to get in position, to get in position, so to speak. The postseason looming. It's time to get things nailed down. You know, it is. It, you know, it's a beautiful night. Fern Creek's done a very good job prepping their field. And, you know, nice crowd. Uh, but, you know, to your point, Joe, you know, now's the time. If you're a male football team ranked one in the state, obviously had a hiccup against uh, St. X, but, you know, has come back and proven themselves to be a worthy worthy state con title contender. Mm -hmm. You know, tonight's game is specifically about no hiccups and uh, no injuries. Beautiful evening, around 70 degrees, not a lot of wind. And Mayo's going to kick off to start it. The always dangerous Landon Edwards back for Fern Creek along with James White. The official gives the signal. And here we go, Henson's kick, and we are underway. And it hits and goes into the end zone for a touchback. A nice job. These dual kickers for Mayo having a fine season, Mike. They are. They, you know, they, they, they've always got special teams guys that, that do come out and perform and do well. And, you know, it, it seems like it's a new crop every year. And, you know, Coach Wolf has been able to tap into the student body and find kids that can, can make it happen. So um, interesting to see what Mayo's defense does here, if it's, if it's more of an attack mode or if they, if they try to play a read mode. or I don't mm -hmm. think they'll do a prevent, but... You know, in other words, are they going to attack or are they going to read? You know, where, where are we going with this? And I've got a feeling they'll read just to see what kind of look they get. Michael Malone, the tailback, the big featured player for Fern Creek. Rushed for over 900 on the season. Passmore, the quarterback, awaits the snap. He's got it. Gives to Malone. Backside, not much there. Pretty well contained by that male front. Yeah, it looked like our second level was, on a, was definitely on a drop step read. You know, flow to the ball, nice stop. Maybe picked up a yard if they were lucky, but uh, I think that's what we're going to see most of the night. I don't look unless things get out of hand on on you know, with Fern Creek. Uh, I think Mail will, will will just you know maintain instead mm -hmm. of be aggressive. Daniel Bird shut that down for the Bulldogs. Second and nine at the 21, just underway here at Fern Creek. Malone the tailback behind the quarterback pass more. Turn and give it to him off that left side. And again, not much there, Mayo. You're just not budging the Bulldogs much along that front. Well, they obviously believe in the tackle on the left side because that's the second play over him. And it and, uh, looks like he's a good-sized kid. But to your point, I mean, you know, we, we, we've got some Bulldogs out there that are, that are really good football players. <laughs> Solomon Conley yeah. on that one. And, yeah. you know, having a great season. Third and eight now. Again, a pair of one-yard pickups leaves Fern Creek in a third and long. Two receivers right, one to the left for Passmore, who drops to throw. Looks right, fires right, a long throw that does not quite find its way to his target land, and Edwards incomplete. Mel with a, went with a three-man front with a, with a short side field uh, defensive end. End didn't blitz, which tells me a little about what we're going to see most of the night. And, and honestly, I don't think there was a lot of pressure from the D-line, more of a read look, mm -hmm. maybe looking for a screen or something silly like that. But... Anyway, Patrick Carr to punt for Fern Creek. The always dangerous Max Ganey awaiting the punt at midfield. Special teams needs to shine in games like this. They need to find ways to, to put points on the board or give us a position to make things happen. Snap to Carr. He gets it out of there. It's a line drive kick. Here comes Ganey oh, that's, from that's, the 50. That's problem. That's Can trouble. he break free? That's trying to shake off the right side, and he's going to be wrapped up at about the 41-42. He's an eyelash from breaking that. He was. You know, it's just it, on a low kick like that, Pern Creek cannot afford to do that with Max Ganey. They've got to get some hang time and give their team a, a chance to get down to, for coverage. But, uh yeah, two or three steps here and there, and he's, he was gone. There was no question. Eric Pickett able to clean it up for Fern Creek, but Mayo gets excellent field position on this first drive, starting at the Fern Creek 42. If you look at the lines alone, just, just the sheer bulk 
is remarkable. Males versus Fern Creek. And <laughs> so we'll, we'll see what happens here. But um. Senior quarterback Coulter Smith settles in, takes the snap, looks to throw, fires, and it's complete. Outside near the first down, sticks driven out of bounds. D.J. Grinter will have to see where they spot it, but a nice pickup there on first down. Pretty close to a first down. It was, okay. Yeah, that, you know, just a little quick out, get some rhythm going, get a connection. You know, the, the hardest play for the quarterback is the first play. Um, and, you know, you just want to make sure he gets in a groove. You know, I, I look for a few more passes like that just to to get, get things in, in some sort of motion and, and – uh, Smith under center here, second and short, actually. They say just shy of the first down. He hands it off on the backside with a carry. Grinding forward for the first down, Chase Burton, the ball carrier, and the sophomore has got the yardage to move the chains. You know, it looks to me we're cutting back into the middle of the field, which is good. That That's, you know, if, if you miss a couple tackles, all you got is be safety. So um, I have a feeling the game plan is not to go outside. That's the easy score. The game plan is – to work on the offense, cutting back, because good better teams are going to shut down the mm -hmm. outside. Cage fanning on the stop for Fern Creek. First and 10 mail at the Tiger 29. Smith awaits. Now he's got it. Looks to throw. Set up nice. the screen. Here it is underneath. Nice. Burton finds a seam. Nice. Gains some yardage. He appears Knock. to have a first down. We'll have to see where they spot it. But another you know, low risk, high reward kind of play right there. Mail's 11 at short side of the field. You know, odd man's out over on the wide side, so they've got to uh, you know, a, a definite advantage, and, you know, Fern Creek, give them credit. They're flying to the ball, so they're they're not letting the big play get away, but we're, we're moving pretty efficiently at this point, which is what the doctor ordered from Mayo. Absolutely. Nehemiah Lucky, great name on the stop for Fern Creek, but it is <laughs> a first down for the Bulldogs in the Fern Creek red zone now. Smith hands it off backside to Burton, working that left side again and finds some good yardage. He's a physical runner, and he churns out near another first down. He didn't quite get there, but a good pickup on first down. Looked like a double tight look, and that's not normal for Coach Wolf. Um, typically, he likes, you know, a slot maybe and, and a tight end, but looks like he snuck the slot up uh, to get a commitment on the wide side of the field and keep him honest. And, you know, again, five, six-yard gain on the short side of the field. Second down, and I would guesstimate that at about four. Hard to see from our vantage point here, but yeah, right in around the, that, right around the 14 yard line for the yep. Bulldogs here. Yep. The senior quarterback, Coulter Smith, has two receivers right and one left. Burton beside him. Smith looks to throw. Fires into the end zone, and Max Ganey's got it for a touchdown. Nice throw. Throw into traffic and Put it up there where, he, you know, the only person who catch it was was Max. He, he made sure it was above the defender's heads as well as, uh, you know, their outstretched arms and just a very nice throw. Good, efficient first drive. And, I mean, we're, goodness gracious, I guess we're three minutes and 30 seconds in and we've scored. And yep. 15th touchdown pass of the year for Coulter Smith. 10th touchdown reception for Max Ganey. The Landingham for the extra point. Gets it out of there, and it's good. 7-0 mail, 8.30 to go in the opening quarter here on Glycott. 1965 male graduate and basketball star George Tensley knows the value of providing quality service, and that's what you get when you dine with Tensley Family Concessions. They provide travelers with many fine choices at Louisville Muhammad Ali International Airport. Whether it's Kentucky Fried Chicken, Chili's, or Starbucks, you know your travel experience will be a more comfortable and convenient one. Learn more about our company by visiting the website tfcfamily.com. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Opening defensive stand mail goes right down the field and scores to take the 7-0 lead. The Landingham's kick. High soaring drive around the goal line. They juggle it. I'm not sure that's not a forward pass, but it's not going anywhere anyway. Fern Creek hemmed in. James White didn't get far. Had a little miscommunication, he and Edwards. Wasn't sure who was going to come out with it, but uh, didn't go for much anyway. Didn't do much. You know, actually uh, been better off letting it go into the end zone. Yeah. That would have been on the 25, but I guess they're on, what, the 18 or so, 16? Yeah, thereabouts, 18, 19. Yeah, so... Yeah, the referee was right beside. I agree. It was a funky little exchange there. So, yeah. 
Robertson on the tackle for the Bulldogs, and the Fern Creek Tigers take over down 7 0. Pass more the quarterback and the gun. They try to go backside, and there's just nothing there. They fooled me a little bit with the misdirection, but they didn't fool mm. those male defenders whatsoever. I think we had an uncovered corner that actually it wasn't really a blitz, blitz it was a read, but, but he was able to sneak up and, you know, sort of contain, and then, you know, the flow of the traffic got him. Bryce Strickland on the tackle for loss. And the Tigers moving backward, and for a team, you know, that, that's dependent on the run, that's a decided underdog, this is not the start Fern Creek mm -hmm. was looking for. You just can't. You can't. You, you've got to keep Mail's offense on the sideline and, and make sure you're, you know, you're, you're doing something. You need some clock. Second and 16 at the 13. Malone on that left side. Short yardage, if anything. There's just not much there. No, there's not. And, you know, the funny thing about it is from a – and he's a big boy, don't get me wrong, but from a size standpoint, our right defensive tackle is definitely – the shortest, but must be the strongest because <laughs> they're going nowhere. They're running at him every play within reason yeah. when, unless they pass. And you know, our, my man's hanging tight. Now Strickland over there, he is uh, – they he, list him at six foot flat, but, I, you ooh. know, he might might be sneaking an inch or two there, but there's no doubt about we, his heart and his technique. No, we, we, he's an ice cube man. That's what he is. He just is a cube of, of flesh. Third and 15, Fern Creek to throw. Pass more fires. Oh. Broken up. Nice play. Nice work right there. Nice play. And that's Solomon Conley dropping back. He can come up and tackle. He can drop back and cover. He's a hard man to deal with. Yeah, I think that was actually a drop read by the by the the uh, our left hand left side linebacker, and actually mm -hmm. made a very nice play. Yeah, you know, turning hips, running, smacking the ball down instead of trying to go for the interception. Exactly. Car to punt, Ganey to return, Ganey up even closer. He's standing at about the forty yard line now. Let's see what happens here. Just dares him to kick it over his head. <sighs> Snap is clean. He gets uh, it out of there. It's a line drive. Uh oh. It out of bounds. Goes out of bounds. Goodness, I thought that might hit a male player for yeah. a second there just by accident. There was a but, tussle uh, going on on the Fern Creek yeah. sideline yeah. in a blocking way, but my goodness, I thought it was going to hit the male player, and I was like, well, there's, there's a first that's, down. Yeah, that's a, a live ball if it does, but yeah. it goes out of bounds. And In fact, a very short punt after the mark. Looks like it'll be out at about the 23-yard line. So, yeah. again, great field position for male. Yeah. Everything going the Bulldogs' way early. You no, know, if, if, I, I think he'll do this. Stick to the script, run your plays, get the plays you need in because you, you need that in live game action because yeah. it'll pay off in the playoffs. 6.49 to go opening quarter, 7-0 male. Gates the running back now. Shemai Gates on the left of Coulter Smith. Smith to throw. Fires. It's caught on the outside. Slung down after a nice gain. That's Colin Jefferson on the reception. And, just a nice play on the outside. Thought he was looking at Ganey underneath in the slot, mm -hmm. but threw right over him to Jefferson. Yeah, you know, it's decoy play. You know, they had Ganey, obviously, as the key play. But, but um, you know, again, I think it's just, that's just a rhythm play. You know, just getting getting some rhythm and getting some 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 uh, timing down. And, mm -hmm. you know, uh, you, uh, not necessarily this drive, but, you know, when you go deep, you know, it's a, it's a little different. So Nine-yard pickup, second and one at the 14. Ganey across the formation in motion. Gates the back. Ganey reverses. They go, Gates. Gates picks his way for a first down, down in the vicinity of the 10-yard line. That just, you know, penetration or, or a push, I should say, a shove, you know, a surge uh, from the mail line, and, and frankly, Fern Creek just doesn't have an answer at this point. A first down there. I believe that's a first and goal. Should be. Yep, don't see a second chain, so no. call it first and goal. Should be. About the nine-yard line, it looks like. Mm -hmm. Again, our vantage point here just beyond midfield on the male side. If it's a little more animated than usual around us, we've gone uh, Harry Carey style here. We are in amongst the partisans. I think we've got a Wildcat look here. Yeah, we've seen that with Gates, and that is the look. So Gates is the Wildcat quarterback, Burton the running back. Gates claps his hands. Here he goes. Gives Burton. Burton off that backside, cracks down close to the goal line. He's inside the five, but not into the end zone. That's pretty lethal. That's, you know, when you have. It's another two, thing to, to prepare for when they, you play they, male. They, 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 and I, I think I saw them run against, um, I guess they ran against Trinity some. I can't remember. But yeah. I, I remember hearing about it and, you know, what success they had with that. And 
So it, it's a no-brainer. But Did it some with Swinney last year. So, so yeah, they did. Gates follows it up. I, I keep waiting to see Gates throw. That's what I'm yeah, waiting for. That's yeah. the wrinkle I haven't seen well, yet. We're back at a Wildcat look again. Yeah, so. Second and goal at the four. Gates, that Wildcat quarterback. Shemai Gates claps his hands. He's got it. Keeps it himself. Lowers his head. Does he get there? Mm, looks like he's a little short. Not quite. Well, Fern Creek saw that on film, so obviously they're prepped for it. So, uh, But still, we're getting, you know, on a Wildcat, three, four yards. It's not a bad deal. Yeah. Going to be third and very short here. Mail already up 7 nothing. Looking for more. Colin Jefferson checks in. Let's see what they run. Still going Wildcat look. Yeah. Gates will stay in. Maybe a double tight. I see one tight end. I'm trying to see if there's a second. And they may go to a power. They may go to a power side. They may. Uh, is it unbalanced? No, I can't tell. Uh, so third and goal at the one for Gates. Gates power left. There it is. And he'll lean in. Touchdown. For the touchdown, Shamai Gates yeah. from a yard out. That's just textbook. I mean, that's what you do when you when you have when you have that kind of advantage. Is you know you work on those kind of plays because it's really hard to script those in practice against your twos just because you don't get the same type of push. Oh, sure. So, you know, the reality is that's that's uh, that's exactly what I was talking about earlier before we started the, the game is, you know, we, we've got to start doing things that create championship football. Two drives, two scores. Henson for the extra point. Snap is botched, and now here comes a holder. He's going to run out of there. He's going to try to get the edge. Oh, Did he get there? No. Not quite. No good. So it'll be 13 nothing. male, 3.52 to go in quarter number one. We'll be right back here on Glycott. For more than 35 years, online and through our branch office locations, Ruoff Mortgage has helped people discover, finance, and move into their homes with confidence. From the moment you send in an application to the day you get the keys, Ruoff keeps things moving exceptionally fast. By sharing knowledge and professional guidance, Ruoff Mortgage helps people see the potential and excitement in the homeownership experience. Visit one of our convenient branch locations or get started online at Ruoff.com. This segment of tonight's game is brought to you by Ruoff Mortgage. For an intuitive, simple, and stress-free mortgage process, visit Ruoff.com. Ruoff Mortgage, opening doors. The male Bulldogs open up at 13-0 advantage. The two-point playoff the Mishandled snap, no good, but that's about the only thing that hasn't gone Mail's way so far. Thus far, you're right. Heads in to kick it. Lines this one down to Edwards, who takes it out. Here comes Landon Edwards. He's got speed. He hits that left edge hard, but he is tracked down. Well played there by Mail. Edwards got a little farther than they probably would like, but Landon Edwards is a guy with that track burner speed right there. Well, nice cuts, you know, nice look. Uh, frankly, I, I don't think we stayed in our lanes on the male side of the ball as well as we could have. So, uh, if anything, that's that's uh, food for the for the film. Yeah. Kevin Rogers tracked him down, spotted at the 33. Best field position of the game so far for the Tigers of Fern Creek, looking for their first first down so far. Yeah, we got a four-man front right now. Caleb Passmore, the quarterback. Play fake, and now he looks to throw. Fires, it's tipped, almost intercepted. Broken up right there. I believe that is Conley. Yep. That's his second break of the night. He broke it one over here. So, um, anyway. They keep throwing it at him. He's going to catch one of these in a minute. Well, he obviously has got a nose for the football. And Absolutely. They, they, I guess when we get in a set, they flip him around because – he is definitely right there in the in the in the throwing path, and that's the opposite of the side of where the first one came. Yeah, exactly. exactly. I mean, that's that's a big, it's a big difference. Second and ten, Fern Creek at their own thirty-three. Malone the setback, and they give to Malone, trying that left side again, and it, that hasn't worked yet. Just not there, my man. Is it Strickland? Is uh -huh. hanging tight? Yep. And we do have a defensive end out there that's sort of a hybrid end. Outside linebacker, maybe even a uh, you know a wildcat type linebacker or something, and I'm sure he's stringing it out. But the reality is, there's nothing there. Yeah, just not been productive yet, and they keep going that way. But 
Mail's not been fooled yet. Third and eight. Fern Creek, their own 35. 13 0 Bulldogs. And they're looking to get the ball back here. Trips right for Passmore, who drops to throw. He's looking right. He throws. That's in the air forever. Uh, and that's going to be pass interference yeah. on Antonio Harris. He didn't mean to do it. That would be my defense if I'm Antonio. Yeah. I was not trying yeah. to do that. That's just that's just a, but he that's, did it. You know, <laughs> I, I consider that just an aggressive football play. Yeah. The ball was underthrown and had had the receiver broke for the ball. Antonio had six. Yeah. I mean, it's just that simple. And it. You know, sometimes that's football, and that's that's what you you don't really get too upset about that. Yeah, you know, that's, it, that's a penalty in film review you're not going to go crazy no. over. You're going to say that's a good, aggressive Just, play. It didn't work this time. Next time it very yeah, well might. The only thing you could say is maybe you need to have your hand on his hip so you can sort of feel him stop. Yeah. But, again, when you're dropping back and you're playing somewhat of a read instead of a to total prevent, uh, I'm sorry, inst instead of aggressively, I should say, then it's sort of hard to do that. I mean, just it's it, it was a good play. It just a bad result. First down for Fern Creek, just shy of the midfield stripe. Passmore gives Malone left side. He's got some room this time inside the 45, down to about the 40. But a late flag comes in. You think he got some extra assistance there, or you see to. something else? I mean, I, I don't. I don't think you know, that's the first time they've had any kind of. So there had to it be is a hold, hold yep. or there had it or, is. you know some something of that nature because. Yeah, that edge a, got awfully free, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it was wide open. I mean, that's the first <laughs> time ever, you know. And so, you know, you have to think that, yeah, that, there, there was uh, something that was awry. It was downfield, so, in fact, the penalty is going to account for about a yard. It'll be first and 11 after the penalty. So, 10 yards from the spot, and that tells you it was near the end of the play where the official saw it and, and threw the flag. But... In any case, wipe out the run for near a first down, if not a first down, and make it first and 11. Inside two and a half minutes to go in the opening quarter. Mail a 13-0 lead. Passmore in the gun. Malone beside him. Passmore to pass. Big rush. He flips flag. it away There's underneath. It's incomplete. What do you got here? Probably a hold. I mean, it looks... It, it, it was at the line of scrimmage, so either there was any, it like was, a legal shift. Possibly. Yeah, possibly, yeah. But it was at the line of scrimmage, so. Yeah. You know. Tried to go underneath to Patrick Carr. The Marcus Robertson wasn't fooled, and then you've got the flag additionally. So some heavy pressure off the uh, quarterback's right side there. They were just about jumped the snap count. I mean, he was in the backfield almost before the ball was. Right. The male pass rusher, and that. That kind of discombobulated the Tigers a bit. It did, and you know, they, they, and you know, we we are. It looks like our coverage is pretty good when they try to throw the ball. I mean, we've always got a man there. They're, they haven't caught us sleeping yet. They take the play over the penalty. It's second and eleven. Two thirteen to go. Opening quarter. Pass more. Gives Malone left side, and he picks his way down to about the forty-four yard line. That's the best run that uh, Michael Malone has had tonight, and it puts Fern Creek in a third and reasonable here. We're running short side of the field, so we must have been, we must have pulled somebody back and peeled them around just to make sure the wide side doesn't get exposed, but uh, now we're back towards, well, we're still on the hash, but we'll see. Third down, call it a long three here. Fern Creek hadn't had a first down before this possession. They got one on a penalty, and now Seeing on third and three, you would think this is four down territory, certainly regardless for, of outcome. For Fern Creek, absolutely. Yes. Malone to setback. Behind the quarterback, Passmore, who gives it to him. Left side, he hits the hole, 35-30. Flag comes oh. in. Let's see. Got May have been hold. two flags, yeah. Well... You know, I give credit to Malone. He is running hard off that edge. If they can set the edge for him, he'll do some things. But that's easier said than done against this Bulldog defense. Looks like our tackle's going in B-gap. And, you know, it's just exposing that C and B-gap mm -hmm. wide open. And Malone's good enough, and actually really good, that he can expose that. And looks like we're waving the flags off. Picked up at least one. Yeah, I guess neither flag... Is going to apply, so call it a first down. Boy, I didn't uh, 
Didn't see that one coming. Two different flags, and apparently neither one goes for anything. So first down for Fern Creek. Unless it was against Mail, and they just, you know, yeah. declined. But right. they usually don't wave it off when they decline. So down to the 28-yard line are the Tigers. First down there. Nice run by Malone. 5'9", 185-pound senior. They fake to him here and pass more to throw. He's got a man wide open. Oh. It's a touchdown. Snuck behind the defense to T.J. Cothran, and he hauls in the 27-yard touchdown. Nice play. Male safety, I'm not sure what happened there, if it was a safety blitz and just exposed us, but, you know, the reality is that, you know, they, they, they hit a nice pass in the middle, and I don't think there was anybody within 10 to 15 yards of him. Well, he just ran free, and... Extra point pending here for Patrick Carr. 13 6, 108 to go, opening quarter. Passmore is the holder. Carr to kick it. There's the snap. Here's the kick. It's long enough, and it is good. And Fern Creek trims Mail's edge to 13 7, 108 to go in the first here on Glycod. The Holy Smokes Barbecue. At Holy Smokes Barbecue, our pit master smoke up mouth watering ribs, chicken, brisket, mutton, and more. From sandwiches to full dinners, with a complete list of sides and desserts. Holy Smokes Barbecue. Just tell them that the man in the big white hat sent you. Order up. How's the pork chop taste? It's pretty good. It's the best one I've ever had. Holy Smokes Barbecue. Tell them the man in the big white hat sent you. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Fern Creek, aided by some penalty flags, goes right down the field, scores a touchdown, pulls within 13-7. Mikhail Moore, uh, or Malone rather, I'm sorry, I'm changing his name here. Malone, big part of that drive, and then the nice pass over the top. He's all in. He, you know, his, his running style is, is full speed ahead and uh, has some nice moves to find some seams and has done well. And then, you know, the, like I say, the touchdown pass was just a well, well called play. See how the Bulldogs seek to regain momentum here. Carr to kick it off after the touchdown. Ganey and Harris, it's a very short kick and it is mishandled, but then the man who dropped it able to grab it. And so the Bulldogs don't come off any worse out of that. Brendan Bates. That may have been a better play call than the touchdown pass. <laughs> yeah. A short kick and keep it out of Ganey and, exactly. and, and our other receiver's hands, that's for certain. Well, we've seen Bates uh, make some plays here, though. Had a long pick six in their win over Trinity. So he might not be the guy I would aim for, but... No, uh, no, he I think he was. I think he was trying to turn the corner before he got the ball. Yeah. Uh, first down, Bulldogs. Their own 36. Final minute of the first quarter. Two receivers left for Smith. One right. Ultra Smith fakes Burton. Looks to throw. Plenty of time. Takes a deep shot. Harris out there. He's got it, and he is going to go in for a touchdown. Antonio Harris. That's what I'm talking about. You've got to get those rhythms down and those timing down. So then when you do and you cut it loose, you know, it, 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 again, it was a well-placed ball. It was a well-run play. It, it, the offensive line did their job. Coulter just laid it out there. I mean, it was, you know, it was a nice pass. I don't know how many yards it was. Probably 40 at 64. least. 64. 64 total on. Uh, yeah. Yeah, he didn't throw it all the way in the no, air, certainly. Probably, but probably 20 yards after catch. Yeah, but, but still, uh, but still a was, good throw. It was a great throw, great throw. Henson for the extra point. The snap is there. The kick is high there and go. long and good. 20-7 to go. seven now, Mayo. We'll keep it here after the touchdown. You know, we didn't get to uh, discuss a lot of this pregame, Mike, but I know one of the things that was on your list of points to talk about, the big play is key, and you just got it from the Mayo Bulldogs as if on cue. Burn Creek had kind of flipped momentum, and Mayo says, not so fast. Yeah, you, you, in, in a game like this, you know, you, you've got to get your offense hitting on all cylinders, but you also have to be able to dial up the big play and, and make a difference with that big play, which obviously we just did. So uh, the reality is I think we'll see some more of that. 
before the end of the game. And, you know, again, I think the quick outs and, and the nice runs and even the wildcat look, I think that's just putting oil in the machine and making sure the machines run smoothly. Yeah, absolutely. So that big play was one of our keys to the game, and tonight's keys to the game presented by IBEW Local 369. Power up your potential. The landing hand ready to power up this kickoff. 20-7 Bulldogs, final seconds of the opening quarter. Long driving kick, but it's going to bounce. Edwards is going to grab it. Here he comes from the 10, trying to set sail off the left. Uh -oh. He does get a free spot, but Mayo will track him down. Just can't get a good hit on him, though, and Edwards still inbounds. Finally forced out. Up across the 35-yard line, was there a flag somewhere in there, Mike? I didn't see it. Okay. I didn't see it. it there were some antics going on. A return goes on that long, it almost feels inevitable. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we did a good job sealing him, but he cut back to Fern Creek sideline, mm -hmm. at, you know, towards the middle of the field, and we sort of sucked in, and he was able to capitalize and, and you know, get outside. And he got another 10 to 20 yards, but no, nothing hurt. You know, again, I think – I think our kickoff team has got some work to do. I don't think they're deplorable. I just think that it's, you know, there's got to be some work done to, to sure. sew, sew up some of those seams because. Yeah. Well, you I don't guess, get a lot of chances to no. cover a guy like this. Well, He's it's hard fast. to in practice because you don't even get, get hurt. Right, right. I mean, you exactly. just don't do that. So, if anything, it's, it's really a, this is a nice eye opener for them. First down, Fern Creek, their own 35. Pass more. Looks to throw. Fires and right through oh. the hands of his receiver. Incomplete. <laughs> Tried to sneak one out there. I that believe nice that was Cawthron uh, who caught the touchdown, and yeah. that was a much harder catch than a ball that right. you just turn and grab. But, nice uh, play call, though. I mean, that yeah. he was, there was nobody within five yards of him. All he had to do was catch it. Sometimes the hardest part. The hardest part is catching a ball. Second and ten now. Fern Creek, so here's the thing. They made a couple of big plays, got on the board. Mayo's answered. Okay, ball's back in your court, Tigers. Let's see it. See what happens here. Second and ten, and, you know, they, it seems like they all, the quarterback's getting the ball out a little quicker. Mm -hmm. So, you know, he's, he's definitely a shotgun look. What do we got here? Everybody bunched in pretty tight, and it's, yeah, it's a, a wildcat. Wild it's a wildcat. With it's Edwards, and Mayo was not yeah. fooled whatsoever. No. Edwards dumped in the no. backfield for a loss. Ball Lost. came out, but he yeah, was down. He was down. He was down. Yeah, that, that Wildcat look was not the best move for them. They, they need to go back <laughs> to their set because. Uh, yeah, we're, we're, you know, their last two offensive plays were a touchdown and an open play, which should have been about a 10 yard right. completion. Right, 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 right. It might not have been time to get too creative. But no, I don't think so. I mean, other than it's not even happening. It ends the quarter. So yeah. the first quarter comes to an end. It'll be third and 12 for mm -hmm. Creek. When we open the second quarter, mail a 20 to 7 lead here on Glycod. New recruit, take advantage of our apprenticeship program. Come out of our four year course debt free. With health insurance, a guaranteed pension, a degree, and an electrical license. The words I'd use to describe the apprenticeship are opportunity, skillful, educational, solid career path, rewarding, beneficial, and a brotherhood. A life changing opportunity. The cost of school is free. All your books are paid for. You go to school once every two weeks. All the other stuff is on the job training. The teachers here are great. Uh, they're all very, very knowledgeable. They're preparing you for what you're already seeing in the field. If you're struggling with something in school, sometimes your fellow students can help you work through that. Everyone's willing to help each other. It's like a big family. I love being a part of a union, something bigger than myself. This field is so vast. You can find something that you really love to do because there is so much you can do. I went from a job to a, a life-changing career. Power up your potential with the IBEW. You're tuned in to Louisville Football Friday on Glycon. Second quarter opens with Fern Creek third and long, and immediately we have a timeout called by the Tigers, and we'll keep it here. You know, this is the thing. When you feature a running back as your best player, you're down two scores. You really, really, really can't afford if you're Fern Creek to fall behind by more than two scores. No, they're just not. I mean, they had a nice series, but they were aided when they scored by, by a couple flags in, mm -hmm. in Fern Creek's favor. And, 
you know, the reality is, is you know, it's, they're in this game they're grinded out. You know, let's get some score, and uh, but it's, they're not going to score 60 points this way. Mayo can score 60 at will, and has. <laughs> it was a uh, a wild first quarter in their game with Southern last Thursday night. I watched it here on Glycod and. Yeah, that was a game where pretty rapidly it got to a place where the Bulldogs could name the score. Um, they've had some of those. It's uh, it's not always even competition, to say the least. No, it's not. It's not. Third down and 12 for Fern Creek here, who's got trips left. And they look to throw that way. Pass more. He's got a lot of time. He throws. It's caught, and it is a first down. All the way down to the 46-yard line. A nice catch that time for Patrick Carr. Just kind of sat down and made himself available. And there it was. Nice throw. You know, found the seam. Tight end just kept moving, finding an open spot. And Passmore found him. And just a very good play. And that, that you know, obviously we, we've got a breakdown in that second level of, mm -hmm. of pass coverage. And, uh, again, it could be just because we're going prevent and not trying to get anybody hurt. I don't yeah. know. I kind of doubt it. I mean, Wake we're – Still just into the second quarter, but Bates on the tackle there, but a 21-yard pickup on third down and 12. Passmore's got a nice throwing arm. He does. He looks comfortable in the pocket. He does. Looks like he sort of sidearms it a little, but mm -hmm. it's effective. It's got nice velocity to it. First and 10 at the 46 for Fern Creek. Passmore gives Malone, and there's there's that man. You called it several times tonight. Strickland just finds a way to get his hands on the ball carrier and puts him on the turf. He is not afraid to track him down. He, he's got a nose for the ball, and, you know, it, it, obviously if they scouted and thought they could play against him, they, look, they just looked at the film <laughs> the wrong way. That's all I can tell you. Bryce Strickland with at least his third mm -hmm. stop of the ball game, six foot, 250-pound senior. Like you said, kind of just a squat bowling ball of a player who finds a way to keep getting himself into the backfield. Had a, uh, a guy I played in high school with, and they called him Toaster. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a, a two two bread toaster. Second and eleven, pass more. Looks to throw. He fires. He gets nice it through throw. the coverage, and Carr's got that one down near the first down sticks. We'll have to see where they spot him. Well, he's throwing through some hands on that well, one, Mike. Well, you know, it, that was a nice play call on our defense, and frankly, our, our up our up defensive back just missed the pass. I mean, it was there. Yeah. All you had to do was smack it down, but it was a nice throw, and we were just, I guess, a second too late. Gates with a stop, but it's third, and call it a long three. Down to about the 38-yard line, 10 minutes to go in the first half. 20-7 to seven male, but Fern Creek on the move. Malone shifts up beside Passmore. They give it Malone. He tries that backside, and I think he got the first down, but we'll have to see where they spot him. I don't know. I don't know. I think he's short. It's a yeah. long way over there, and yeah. I admit, as they unpilot, it looks less so. Yeah, we're going to say fourth down yep. and about two, apparently. Yep, yep, yep. Got a little work to do. And I mean, you're four down territory for Fern Creek. No, mail. completely. I think we'll see the real mail. We'll dial it up here and and, uh, you know, get the stop and get our offense back on the field unless we just jump off sides or something. That that could be a reality. Fourth down, call it a short two. 37-yard line. We're stacked in there. That's Bunched in, absolutely. Malone about the only guy not on the line, and they turn and give it Malone, and he mm. runs that right side, uh, and got he got it, but he got helped by a holding penalty, I, I do believe. So. I think so. Back judge. Uh, yeah, there we yep. go. That's it. That's it. So we'll have to see where they spot it from because that will determine how long the fourth down play will be, which will probably determine whether Fern Creek goes for it or they punt the ball I away. I still think they go for it. Fourth, I mean, they have We'll see. Lose, I mean, yeah. fourth and how much. So yeah. they, they, can't let, they can't let Mel go up three or four scores, in my opinion, because mm – -hmm. Uh, the reality, it's a five-yarder, so I would think it's going to be at least fourth and six or seven. Oh, that was it's a a ten yard. Ten, yeah. It's just from ten. where it was, and yeah, it's yeah. going to be fourth and twelve, fourth and eleven. Yeah, and the punter's on, so there you go. You're exactly right. All right, let's see what happens here. Patrick this Carr to punt. Where They've I got Harris we, back this time to return instead yeah. of Ganey. This is an area where I think we can shine. We just got to get, you know, again. Get people in position. Make sure you don't have too many on the field. A lot of people up close. Here it comes. Almost blocked. He got a hand on it. Yeah. 
It's yeah. the Fern Creek Canopy Tent. <laughs> it's the tent, yep. Yeah, right around, I guess, the 28-29 uh, yard There's line. Kevin Wilson, who almost blocked yeah. it clean, but he did. Yeah, yeah he, he wanted it bad. He's walking off. <laughs> It's a hard thing to grab one of those, and I mean, you don't want to guess wrong and, and smack into the punter yeah. and give him a first down. So he yeah. he played it the way you should, and he definitely mm -hmm. influenced it, and it looked like tipped it. But uh, it yeah, he like wanted the whole it. thing. Yeah. He wanted to, to swat that sucker. Could have been a nice kick because I, mean, I think he got a lot of foot on it. So yeah, uh, he just he got enough of it on it, on whatever. Took and, a right turn. Yeah, yeah, took a right turn. Ball's at the 32 for the Bulldogs. They lead 20 to 7. 8:48 to go here in quarter number two. I'd like to get another score, at least two this quarter, to to keep things moving in the right direction. Empty that's set for Coulter Smith, so it's play. a free play. So free take play. a shot. We'll take the play. That's and that's going to be a completion down for <laughs> in the vicinity of ten yards. Yeah, that's that's a free play. We take that play. Um, Colin Jefferson, the man who's over there, yeah. makes the play. Yeah, take the play. He's got first and ten. Yep. Just you know, there's no reason to. Just keep the offense moving. I keep feel like quarterbacks used to be a little sharper at that free play. Right, There's absolutely right, right, no right. reason not to take right, it and fire. Right. I mean, no nothing question. can go wrong and plenty can go no right. Question. No question. You're right. A first down for the Bulldogs out nearing midfield here. They hand it inside. It's a nice run. I believe that's Burton on the carry. And now breaking free, and he's slung out of bounds down around the 30-yard line. Inside run is so key to championship football. And, I mean, yeah, I don't care what level you watch, from, from Mighty Mikes and Pee Wee all the way up to the NFL. If you have a back that can cut and jive and juke in the inside run, that is a dangerous weapon because now you've got to cover inside and outside, especially if you can run inside and then cut outside to the flat. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean. And Burton it's, can. And Burton can. can. That's a 20-yard gain. And, I mean, that just takes so much pressure off of everything else. Absolutely. First down at the 34, called a 26-yard pickup. So, nice running for Chase Burton. Smith looks to fire. He's going to take a deep shot. He's got a man out there. Can he catch up with it? Yes, he oh, can. Wow. Touchdown. That's Antonio Harris again. That's the second dime. I mean, he just dropped it right in there. And, you know, just a very good play and just wasn't hard to wasn't hard to figure out. Antonio Harris just ran right under it and made the catch. So he's got a 64-yarder and a 34-yarder. Have a day, Antonio Harris. He has done well. The landing ham for the extra point. 26 to 7 at the moment. Here it is. The kick is certainly long enough, and it is good. 27-7, the lead for Mayo. 7.53 to go in quarter number two here on Glycod. UA Local 502 is offering great career opportunities for plumbers, pipe fitters, and HVAC technicians. They're seeking highly skilled and trained workers with or without experience. Incentives include debt-free education, employer-funded benefits, apprenticeship that comes with employment, and high starting wages. If you're ready to accelerate your career or just want a fresh start, UA Local 502 could be for you. Contact them at 502-361-8492. UA Local 502. We do it right the first time. Research has shown high school sports to be a great community influence. Join scores of local businesses that have partnered with Glycod in sponsoring live, hometown-oriented sports programming on our video and social media platforms. For more information, email info at glycod.com. Henson, Henson, Henson's kick. Henson's kick now being returned. Fern Creek tries to get on the edge. Can't get a ton of yardage. They're taken down shy of the... 